Yo, what is up guys? I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be working on the QT50, that uh, little 50cc moped. It's pretty rad. So this is what we got going. So in the last video, you guys watched me uh, completely disassemble this thing. Uh, not completely, but to the frame. So we got the frame there, we got the forks, we got the headlight, all the miscellaneous parts there. So now we're going to work on stripping all these parts. So the uh, strip the gas tank, just all the metal parts that have, this looks to be like black spray paint. So go ahead and strip all that completely and then uh, we'll get it ready for paint. So let's start tearing this apart, like this uh, headlight bucket, take that out of this little uh, metal frame, strip the... Uh, get that out of there, then we'll strip the gas tank and the frame and the forks. So yeah, let's get to it. So we have all the parts that we're going to be stripping. Uh, we stripped them of all their stickers and uh, plastic bits and whatnot. So yeah, so now we're ready to uh, start stripping these things. So I'm going to be using uh, this stuff. I've never used it before. I hope it works. Uh, I really wanted some aircraft stripper, but uh, I couldn't find any. So yeah, I hope this stuff works. We're just going to be applying it with uh, some paint brushes. So I don't know how that will go, but yeah, let's try it out. So as you guys can see, this paint stripper is going to town on this paint. So that's really good. Uh, it's going to be stripped in no time. I'll probably just power wash it off. So yeah, let's go and uh, grab the other parts. All right, so that's what all the parts look like. As you can see, it's working pretty good. So now I'm just gonna let it sit and uh, do its magic, and then come back and probably hit it with the power washer or uh, just the hose and try to get most of that off and then uh, apply a second coat if need be. So yeah, let's see what it looks like here in a bit. All right, guys, so this is about three coats later, and we're getting there slowly but surely. Sorry about the wind noise. Um, but yeah, the forks are almost done. Frame's looking pretty good. Gas tank, almost done. So yeah, I really like the look of the raw uh, frame, so I might just go ahead and powder coat it before I get all this red off, so I think that'd be pretty rad. Um, powder coat the fur, just... Uh, clear coat the frame not powder coat uh, but yeah and then paint the gas tank possibly like bright orange I think that look pretty sweet so yeah let's go ahead and uh, throw one more coat on and then uh, see how it turns out all right so we got all these parts out here that were uh, already stripped almost it looks like it'll just take one more coat and then uh, we should have it completely stripped down uh, everything to the bare metal. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, apply one more coat and see how it turns right. out. So with about four coats of that uh, paint stripper, this is how it all turned out. This paint is super tough and not coming off, so I'm probably going to have to wire wheel that, which means I probably won't be able to do the brushed look. I'll probably just have to go ahead and uh, paint it. That kind of sucks, but if there's a way I can get it to look just like that, then I'll go ahead and do the brush look, but I'm not sure if I wire wheel that and scratch it all up that I'll be able to. So I'm not sure, but uh, we can start go ahead and uh, practice on this gas tank because I know I'm going to paint it anyways. So yeah, let's go ahead and start wire wheeling this gas tank and then uh, see how it turns out. So now that we got the gas tank looking pretty good, uh, I got it pretty much all the paint off, so that's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to this frame. So I already started sanding on it a little bit, as you can see right here. And uh, I'm worried I'm gonna have to sand all of it. And then, but if I do sand all of it, I can probably get the weld 
coloring bag. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Um, but I can probably get that back just by like heating it up with a uh, little propane torch. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure. I sanded this side. So it was super rusty. Um, so yeah, I started sanding this. I mean, I don't know. I kind of dig the look of that too, but I also really like the look of the raw. So yeah, I'm probably just going to go ahead and sand it all the way down. And then uh, if I decide to paint it, then I can just go ahead and paint it. If not, then we can clear coat it. But yeah, so let's just start sanding on it. But yeah, uh, that'll be it for today's video. Um, Hope you guys liked it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe for more videos.